Hill being in the Hall of Fame, but Grant Hill had more of a period of dominance than Bill Walton. I'm sorry. When you look at Bill Walton's career, he had his first three years in Portland. Bill Walton, his first three years in Portland, did not play 70 games. He played 35, 51, 65, 58. 14, 33, 55, 67. He played 80 and 85, 86 with the, uh, one of the greatest teams ever, Boston Suns. He cheated Eddie Johnson out of six man of the year. Yeah, yeah. In 10 games, his final year with the Boston Celtics. So, I'm sorry. When you look at him and you look at Grant Hill, I'm sorry. You know, uh, 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 it's one thing to say impact on the game. But when you're looking at Grant Hill, his first few years in the league, 69, 80, 80, 80, 81, 50, 74, and then he got hurt. I'm sorry, it's not comparable. It's not comparable, folks. And even through all of his injuries and all, everything like that, if Grant Hill played, he gave you double digits. This last year, he only played 29 games. He averaged 3.2 points a game. Every other year, it is 19, 20, 21, 21, 21, 25, 13, 16, 14, 19, 15, 15, 14, 12, 11, 13, 10, 3. So, wherever Grant Hill was at, he was effective. So, I'm sorry, Bill. You don't deserve me. I mean, in my opinion, you don't deserve it. But, and I, I, and I understand it's not, I keep, I, it may sound as if I'm speaking against what I'm saying, but I'm talking about impact. You cannot have an impact on the game if your ass ain't in the game. I repeat, you cannot have an impact on the game if your ass is not playing. So don't tell me about, oh man, you just said impact on the game. How can you have an impact on the game if you watch it? You can't. So I would like to know, like, first of all, who would you put in the Hall of Fame that's not in the Hall of Fame? You can hit me on the chat room. You can even text me or whatever, you know. You know the number, 773-793-2409. Text me, hit me, or hit me on the uh, chat room. But what makes a Hall of Fame? I would say it is a impact, like Joe said. Impact on the game is what makes you a Hall of Fame. A lot of people, like... Another dude who I've been here, I heard all week people talking about he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. Shaq say it all the time, and I disagree with Shaq. And uh, and I'm gonna die disagreeing with him because people say Robert Ory should be in the Hall of Fame. No, the hell he should, because in order to impact a game, you have to be playing in the game and impacting the game, not just hitting a big shot at the end. I'm going to say that again. Not just hitting a big shot at the end. And if you ask me, from his second year in the league when he won his first NBA championship to one of his last year, years in the league when he won his last NBA championship, I am a firm believer in if Robert Ory didn't play for any of those teams and you had another solid shooter in those positions, those teams would have still won those championships. I don't believe, when we talk about impact on the game, I don't believe you can hit a clutch shot unless all the pressure is on you. I mean, just about every shot Michael Jordan took in, in, in a tight position was a clutch shot. Magic Johnson the same, Larry Bird the same, Kareem the same, so forth and so on. But the reason I say that is explain to me how anything Robert Orr ever did was clutch. Because cl the clutch is when pressure is on you. And when pressure is on you is when we are expecting something. And when we expect something, if you come through, you are a clutch player. If you hit some big shots, that don't make you clutch in my book. I'm sorry, it just don't. That does not mean you are clutch. That means you've hit some big shots, you've had some moments that were clutch. Clutch is when we coming out of the timeout, everybody in the stadium is saying, Robert Ory is about to get the ball. They, they swing the ball to you. You hit it, swish, and it was on. Exactly. Joe from Houston just said nobody was going to dog or if he missed any of those shots. Exactly. If he missed some of them shots in Houston, Akeem Olajuwon can't get it done again. 
If he'd have missed some of them shots in L.A., Shaq and Kobe still can't get it together. If he And when he missed those shots in San Antonio, only person I know that was mad at him was Ant. Ant the, Ant the Aquarius. I was the only person in the world I knew was mad at him and the rest of the damn uh, Spurs nation. But people I knew personally, eh. Because nobody was expecting Robert Ory to hit those shots. If nobody's expecting you to hit those shots and you miss, you just missed. Just like, I'm going to give y'all an example of what I'm talking about. Just like when y'all get mad at y'all least favorite player. You know, somebody that y'all don't like, y'all get mad at him. And then he do something right. The first thing out y'all mouths is, oh, that was just this time. He still ain't shit. That's how I feel when Robert Orby hit them shots. So what? He still ain't shit. And look, don't get me wrong, man. It's about 450 people playing the NBA. And and that means Robert Orby is 450 million times better basketball than me. That means Robert Ory, however old he is tonight, will smoke me on a basketball court. And any other night, he would have smoked me on a basketball court. Don't get it twisted. He's better than me. But what is that saying? He be he he beat you, B. And Dickie Simpkins will beat me, too. And he was a scrub, too. Now, how about that? How you like them out? Dickie Simpkins was better than me too. Okay, Dick and Dickie Simpkins was a scrub too. So, with that being said, man, what puts you in the Hall of Fame? You know, is it you know? I heard people saying, like I heard this cat say recently, Steve Nash and Jason Kidd didn't really lead their teams to the NBA Finals. What is this nonsense about the NBA Finals and winning it? He's still a pro just not Hall of Fame. Exactly, Joe from Houston. What is this nonsense about you a Hall of Fame or, or this making it, getting rings? Rings, people, are a team achievement. Rings are a team achievement. Stop telling me that Michael Jordan is great because he got six NBA Finals and six Finals MVP. No, that is a lie. Michael Jordan was great in 1988. Yes. Michael Jordan, when he was in 89, when he lost to the... 88, the first time he lost to the Pistons. 89, he lost to the Pistons again. 90, he lost to the Pistons again. And guess what? Michael Jordan was still a great ball player. One of those championships didn't do anything but help his trophy case. I'm sorry. That was all they did for him. Michael Jordan was an excellent ball player before he ever won a championship. And if you believe winning championships made Michael Jordan a better player, you have officially lost your damn mind. Hall of Fame is a combo of leadership, individual accolades, stats, and impact on the game. You know what? With that being said, Joe from Houston, let me go ahead and give you something for that, man. As usual, Joe from Houston takes off from the free throw line and slams right in somebody's face. That is that is exactly what I would consider Hall of Fame. Leadership, statistics, individual. And you know what, Joe? I would I would remove individual accolades unless you. Uh, you know what? May, uh, 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 maybe you mean if you say individual accolades, maybe you mean All Star appearances and things of that nature. So if you mean that, then okay, because. The damn MVP thing is a popularity contest. It's whoever everybody is saying. Because again, like I said at the start of the show, Scottie Pippen, there is no one, not, I will challenge anybody on the face of the earth that, that can tell you that it was a clear, better on-ball defender than Scottie Pippen. Not one person can show me that person. In his, in his day. Maybe before, maybe now, but in his time, correction, there is not a better, a clearly better on the ball defender than Scottie Pippen. You, you won't you won't find it. And the fact that that boy didn't win one 
Defensive Player of the Year is shameful, man. So if Joe, you talking about All Star appearances, okay. But if you're just talking about accolades, nah, man, because the individual accolades is damn near popularity contest, man. And then the fact that you say things like, well, if it was a, uh, if it was about this, that, and the third, Michael Jordan could have won it every year. Well, why didn't he? If he deserved it, he should have won it every year. Oh man, people get tired of that. Hey man, well somebody needs to set their damn game up. If Michael Jordan could have won MVP every year, which he could have, you know, he should have won it. Why you gonna why you gonna cheat that man because oh man, you can't give it to him every year. Yes, you can. Yes, the hell you can. If you deserve it every year, you need to get it every year. That's just the way I see it. I mean, I could be wrong. You can you can agree, disagree, or do whatever what you want to do. I feel that if you, I feel if you are good enough to win league MVP every three hundred sixty-five days, they can give it to you every three hundred sixty-five days. I'm sorry. Now, don't get me wrong. There are other instances. If you're just doing the same thing every year, and you, you know, if you, if it's somebody that does something insane or insanely outstanding, yes, they deserve MVP. They should win the MVP at that very moment. I'm sorry, I, I, it may sound like a contradiction. They should win. But if I'm killing and I'm killing super hard. And somebody else come on and just have a good year that we didn't expect. That's not league MVP worthy. No. No. If Michael Jordan was killing. If Michael Jordan was doing his thing and you just stepped up to his level. You are not league MVP. I'm sorry. You're not. You are not a most value, the most valuable player in whatever league. Football, baseball, basketball, soccer, hockey, tennis, or what have you. I'm sorry. If you just met Mike at his level, then no. Now, if you do something extraordinary, then yes. Yes. Like the first time. Even, look, look, even though I ain't mad at them giving Russell Westbrook the MVP, that first year MVP, I would still give it to James Harden. I still would have. One of Steph's years, I would have gave it to James Harden or somebody else. I just would have. Now, Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose took over the league, took the lead by storm. He was already an NBA All-Star. He stepped this game up even more. Had the best record in the league. Doing things he had never done before. Then boom, batter. My pockets is getting fatter. Derrick Rose is league MVP. I'm sorry. That's what I did. It. But just because all of a sudden you earning your money. No. You don't get league MVP for earning your money. I'm sorry. No sir. No sir. Re Bob. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It is not going to happen. I'm just saying. You are not league MVP just for earning the millions and millions of dollars that they give you. But, back to all the family. Joe has already set the bar at leadership, individual accolades, stats, and impact. Exactly. I'm going to go with that. So, with that being said, the new question is the Stefan Murray getting out of the hall. Man, y'all heard it. Y'all saw the stats. He was already NBA All Star. He was already that. He's an NBA All Star, made all NBA a few times. You know. So, what uh, uh, What gets him in the hall? What gets him in the hall? Two time All Star, all NBA rookie team, two time all NBA. In the league, he averaged uh, 19, 3, and 7. 7.5, 7 7.6. You go over to China, be a legend. It is a world game. It's Stephon Marbury get to the Hall of Fame. Because if you're going to keep Steph out, don't you have to lock a couple more people out too? Because the man was killing it. I'm just saying. I ain't saying. I'm just saying. With that being said, I'm going to take my first break. I don't like to take the last break at the last five minutes like I did Wednesday. We gon' I'm gonna let that marinate in your head. I'm gonna see what happens. See if you can come up with anything. Holler at your boy two fingers, one word. Talk to me. <laughs> 